please um, share your screen. Okay, Michelle, immediately, one second. And then let me see, there's another chat coming. What was that? Okay, thank you. Please confirm that you all see my screen. Yes. Great, thanks. And, and please, um, uh, um, I know you have, um, you have quite a few slides, um, maximum 25 minutes. Thank okay, you. I will do my best. Thanks. So. Uh, thank, you. thank you, Michelle. Thanks, Promos, from this one. Thanks a lot, my colleague, uh, Mr. Sherpol, for this very nice presentation. It's really interesting from my side and a lot of information. Really appreciate this one. Uh, thanks, all of the people, for uh, this, for the valuable time uh, listening from us from this very nice, uh, quickly reviewing information and a lot of things in between, and all of the GNP for this time. Uh, my my presentation for today is mainly uh, according to my agenda for a quickly introduction for what uh, what's exactly uh, digital radiography produce produce. Ahmed, can you can you go on the full screen, please? Yeah, sure. Full screen immediately. Okay. Now it's okay. Yes, perfect. Yes. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Thank you. Uh, second, second point for uh, mainly different application solutions for different segments like electronics, assembly, automotive, steel pipes, aerospace, oil and gas. And let me introduce into these points a lot of information in between for uh, a lot of practical demo and screens, which we got it before from different countries, from different projects, from different companies uh, around BNAT region. And at the end, we will give quickly what is a software platform uh, introduced from this one. Uh, as we all know that X-ray inspection, it's uh, uh, wavelengths and quantum energy, and we are playing into different uh, electromagnetic waves with, uh, from different wavelengths lens, uh, between microwave, infrared, ultraviolet, X-ray, and gamma ray. Uh, and also, we, we all know that X-ray tubes, we are controlled by different manipulators to certain detectors. Different applications and different segments for different sol solutions can be able to get the benefits from this uh, practical uh, digital radiography, uh, like aerospace, uh, oil and gas, power generation, R&D department, electronics, and automotives, and a lot of things in between. If we go through the main suppliers from this one or the main users and different customers around the world who's using uh, digital graphy and computerized tomography into their application and inspect their products, we can find like Boeing, like Apple, Porsche, General Electric, Ferrari, PetroChina, uh, Pretty Whitney, all of these big companies, Rolls Royce, using a lot of different, depends on their product, from different type of digital radiography and computerized radiography. Uh, uh, this technology actually started from film business, as we all know, the conventional one using conventional X-ray tube, and now it will be modified to computerized radiography CR and also digital radiography to digital systems to advanced digital technology with CT machine. Uh, I will start actually the main application for electronic assembly, as we all know, this soldering, uh, welding from different types of application like Apple, like different electronics, we using also computerized tomography to be sure that all of the soldering, it will become in the correct way and we will come with product to come to give the requirement opportunity or benefits from different ones. Also automotive, we can inspect different types, different parts in automotive, like electrical components, electronics, casting product, welding products with different type of computerized uh, CT machines. And we can get a very nice actually screens for 3D dimensions and exactly mention where is the prosty, where is the depth of with different colors and give you the 3D measurement and the viewing to allow the inspector easily clarify and detect if the simply it will be uh, in very good property or we can uh, disqualify this one. I will go through the uh, steel pipes actually. Uh, also, we can find this type of steel pipes and by using CT machines, we can use and we got this uh, 3D valuable screens with different colors and it would give you a very good 
screens or uh, images, you can easily inspect your product. Uh, we can use here uh, in aerospace industry uh, because I know many, many audience from our uh, audience today are also very interested from this aerospace and I will, I will get this point from our previous uh, first uh, presentation last May in 2021 with the GNP team that aerospace technology also have a very big opportunity using from this one and we need, I, I, will, give, I will give here and highlight it for three or four different slides mainly focusing for aerospace technology. So uh, we can use the source, cap in it, image detectors, and we get the software and screen here for the right one using different workflow for this screen. And in aerospace technology, we can also able to use different types, different products, as I mentioned in the beginning, that casting and welds, structural parts, turbine blades, turbine blades maintenance, all of these parts within the aerospace can able we can able to use and inspect it by using computerized tomography. Uh, computerized tomography. This is different types of machines with different spaces, with different capacity, with different weights. We can different different parts, especially for aerospace and a lot of aluminiums, casting and different energy, using micro focusing, nano focusing, or many uh, nano focus dual focusing tubes. Also, in very specific machines, we can use to inspect different critical parts in aerospace technology. And in some machines also, we can use robotic machines to inspect different or heavy parts. As we see here that this is a very big machine, so also one from the biggest and one from the very expensive machines. We can use it to inspect different aerospace parts with very huge space. Uh, different aerospace technology or very big companies also using this one according to different codes, different applications with different airlines, the solutions, as we see in our screen now, so like Honeywell, Boeing, GE Aviation, Rolls-Royce, and a lot of different companies. Um, I will jump to oil and gas industry because this one also um, many people are very interested from this one and I need also to jump in for this technology as we all know we use conventional tubes and different generators and we can use conventional uh, standard film product with different developer and dryers but now we are focusing on digital radiography as our main subject for this presentation. Uh, Digital radiography. Digital radiography, it will be displayed between film digitizer, uh, as my colleague, Mr. Sherpel, highlighted from his presentation, computerized radiography, CR, and digital detector array, DDA. I will go through the first one quickly in one slide because my colleague gave a very good information about film digitizers. Uh, a lot of information according to BAM certificates. We got a uh, different contract sensitivity, optical density, film digitization resolutions with, according to codes and different standards. Theory of digital radiography, two main methods actually of real film digital images can be distinguished between computerized radiography and digital radiography. Each method has different strengths, advantages, and limitations that should be evaluated in terms of specific applications, inspection requirement, and in, uh, economics, capital, human investments, and productivity, number of exhibition in a certain time. Here, I will give you an example for how the computerized radiography actually does it work. First of all, we are prepare our phosphor image plate. Even we can use a flexible one or put it in the fixed cost, fixed one, rigid one. After that, we're exposing using even X-ray or gamma ray uh, equipment with small or big or small diameters or flat pipes diameters. Then we scan the film into our specific scanners with different type of scanners. Even you can use the conventional phosphor image plate with the standard film sizes. Uh, 10 by 24, uh, one, uh, 10 by 40, 30 by 40 centimeters, or roll film for the yellow small one on the right side, all of them also approved and uh, approved from BAM certificates. Then once you scan your film, you can easily review your film according to different software you can able to use it. 
uh, here how we can able to use and fix our computer uh, CR or fossil image blade into pipes. We are using different, even we can use X-ray machines as in the picture on the left here, or we can use also gamma ray source. Here also, it will be very easy to choose whatever convenience, convenience to your application. If you can use flexible images or fossil image blade or digital images like these second pictures. The difference between CR and DR that CR, uh, actually it will be easy to carry up uh, on different fixed type of body. Uh, also, you can use NDT application for weld inspection and it can, use, it can be used when line is powered. DR is very, very short exposure time. We can use very limited. If we can use in CR exposure time, for example, by one minute for DR, it will be few seconds, maybe five or 10 seconds. So you can see here how much time or saving times we can able to use to save using DR comparing with computerized radiography. Quick reshot decisions if needed, because you can get immediately decisions and quickly review and the quickly uh, interpretation you can use for your film images for into your screen. More image dynamic has to be used when power is shut down. It will be very useful to use this technology, digital radiography, especially for shutdown application. Here I will give you a few and quickly images which we got it in different practical demos before in different country. As I mentioned here in Bahrain in 2015, you can use it by using uh, computerized radiogra conventional radiography. We can use it in four minutes to get this uh, or almost these pictures for here. But using computerized radiography, only we got the right shot in 60 seconds only. Here you can easily see how much saving times we can use, almost 75% saving time comparing with conventional radiography. Uh, also in another company in Bahrain in 5th of June in 2015 for weld inspection, the conventional one, it will get it in two minutes, but here the right, right images with very clear images, you can see it here in CR using 30 seconds only almost 40% of DR X time. In Kuwait, uh, uh, to get these very beautiful screens on the right, which will give you a very easy interpretation and uh, decisions maker for this one. By conventional to get almost bad images from the right side, you can use it, you got it in eight minutes, but for using CR, we can use it, we can get it in two minutes, but in DR in eight seconds. You can see here how much saving times we can able to save it into our screens. 35% of D4 X4, X time. Another image in Kuwait, we get this very nice images. In addition to that, we can also able to measure the thickness of the pipes. We can use, we see corrosion. We can put your diameters, screens and everything. And so in Saudi Aramco in 2016 also to use flat, images with elbow like this one, we can also we can also able to easily get this right, very nice screen in the right. And you can see how much time saving be comparing between eight minutes and two minutes only in computerized radiography. And also, if you can also focusing onto these screens, you can see how IQI also very nice appear with the smallest diameter mentioned into this one. We can also able easily to discriminate or clarify any small types of defect into this screen. Flash filter tools. Flash filter tools is very also a very modified tools into the screens. We can also able to use it into uh, uh, software to, is, to give you more clarification or best images you can find uh, for these types. This screen, we can also get it for the conventional even CR or DR technology. But if you use it, the flash filter technology, we can able easily to modify our screen to get this very nice screen on the right. And here you can, you can see the completely difference between the left and the old screens and the modified screen on the right using flash filter side. Uh, you can you can ask me a, a, a common question from this one, how we can able to get the right images comparing with the left images. Here, the, the very simple answer, so how we can see on the bottom, the gray value number on the left side comparing with the right side. Comparing with the right side, you can see here 
how much gray value numbers with almost 16,000 different type of gray value we can able to get it on the right side, on the right screen, which will give you the very nice screen comparing with the left one. Here also how we can the flash filter modify the screen comparing with conventional one and you can see how is flash filter give it to you. For elbow or threaded, this is the old one or the still one and using flash filter it will give you this very nice presentation or screen. Into this one we can also able to accumulate how many thread onto the pipe from this one. You can see how, many, how much for this one we can accumulate it together. But comparing with the right side, it will be like a drag. For corrosion, this is the old screen. Using flash filter, you can see the difference, how we can able also here to clarify and discriminate between and detect the types or diameter or location for corrosion into the left screen comparing with the right one. Valve, you can see here also the difference between these two types of screens. And you can see on the left one, for the flash filter screen, this orange one, here you can find the small cracks. With flash filter, it will be clearly clarified, but on the right side, it will be unfortunately accepted. So that is a give you how is the flash filter give you highest quality comparing with the conventional one. Uh, erosion, here is the old screen. Using flash filter, it will give you a very nice screen like this a bottom one. And you can here give you the, the inspector easily interpret it and discriminate between the location exactly for erosion comparing with the old screen. Raw images in Aramco, in certain side of Aramco in Shaiba. And also we can find this flash filter one comparing with the same one. It will be only give you this right screen into the seconds. Once you click on the flash filter icon, it will give you this screen. Uh, in Oman, you can see here the difference between the nice screen on the bottom for flash filter comparing with the raw images. In Egypt, for example, the spherical tank project in the Italian side in Alexandria in 2013, we successfully get a very nice project and we successfully uh, reduce the uh, uh, valuable time. If you can see here on the bottom, the gamma ray using 192 uh, uh, Curie 22, thickness 47 mm. Uh, with conventional X-ray, we can get each film by 100 seconds. And by the gamma ray, we got it in five minutes. If you can see how much CR give it to you, this very nice screen in 55 seconds only. That means we can able to save 50 time of exposure time from each shot. We can able to get for all of this number of wells in the spherical tanks. Here also in another project in Egypt for chlor cylindrical inspection using DR or the digital detector. This is the old screen or conventional CR or DR screen. But if, uh, and you can also here find the CR saving time from 90 seconds to 35. And if we use the flash filter, it will give you this very nice screen. In the, in the middle, you can see few defects or very small defects. If we apply flash filter, it will be rejected, but unfortunately in the raw images, it will be accepted. Another factory, is, this is a critical factory for blade inspection in Egypt using X-ray machines. It will give you and the saving time like you see it before conventional 40, sec 40 seconds, for CR 25 seconds, for DR 2.5 seconds only. Comparing with 40 seconds, you can see how much saving time from this one. In Egypt, for small cylindricals like this one, you can impress from this screen. And you can see also here the conventional screen, we got it in 20 seconds using CR in eight seconds, in DR only in two seconds, you can get this very nice screen on the right side. Corrosion, another uh, one more thing from this main benefits and the practical application for CR and DR is corrosion applications. Corrosion is very big name actually. And one from the main benefits for even for CR or DR that we can able easily to determine and clarify the corrosion in, into elbows or pipes with a corrosion under isolation. And we got in one shot, 
without removing the, the isolation to easily detect this very nice screen on the left. And here, without removing the isolations, you can see the isolation on the company actually and onshore very interested oh, in this fact, creation but sorry uh, you you went away for a few <laughs> yes yeah, now, now he's back but now, now he's back. Okay. it's fine yeah now it's back now it's okay can yeah. i complete it okay yeah. yes please uh is any uh, questions regarding to this screen because corrosion under isolation without removing isolation is very interested from different companies around the region so even onshore or offshore applications um, uh, i have a question here for you um, sure. from uh, from turkey okay um, what is the tolerances at cr and dr when we measure the any dimension very good question. Thanks for this one. It's almost between 0.02 mm tolerance for any measurement for a small one. 0.02 mm tolerances. Okay. Any other questions, Michel? Or can I continue, please? You can continue, please. That's Thank you. Have, so Thank you. Okay. Uh, for corrosion under isolation, I will, ah, this is very nice uh, screen. Also, you can also hear the fluid went to the pipes. We can also able if easily measure the valuable for uh, the fluid into the pipe using CR even or DR. And on the right side, on the flash filter, you can see the difference between conventional and the flash filter one. Advanced uh, this one also one from the main benefits for CR and DR that it will give you a, a, a report with all of the details for your screens and your interpretation, who's got this screen in which state and a lot of the information and the sign reports and you can able to given or sharing and sharing with your colleague. Uh, also, one from the main benefit from the tool screens, we can use it in CR or DR to measure the thickness tools. This is very important to a lot of people, so even comparing with, our, for example. Uh, software platform like Realism software, we name it as a spider software. So it will give you this software. We can, for example, you can use film digitizer or CR equipment or DR equipment. You can able to collect all of the data in one software and you can also able to share it with your colleague in different countries. Sorry for this one. Uh, DICOM or DICONDI. So DICOM, this is mainly for uh, healthcare applications actually, and it will come in, in previous years for more than 30 years before. But now we are as NDT inspector, we got the DICONDI. DICONDI compliance, according to ASTEM standards, it will interoperability of DICONDI platform, enable data sharing between system, location, and cost and or customers. Like here, you can also using the Condi, you can use different uh, workstations to sharing the data with your server, with different locations, with different, um, in different sites, using different equipment, different software, and you can able to collect all of your data in one, so in one server, even your company server or another company server. Uh, you can also use your network to collect the data from film digitizer for CRDR, auto automated 2D system, automated 3D system, and you can able to use different Rathom software, sharing the data with your customer, take your decisions with your expert, and a lot of things. Inspection works. This also one from the main benefit benefits for CRDR to going to the clouds, get a lot of big data to collect it into different software with different company. But I prefer to be all connected to according to the Condi standards from ASTEM qualification. Thanks a lot. Ah, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> this this came abrupt. Yes, I have a few questions for you from the audience. Um, th thank you, Ahmed. Um, what is the best method to measure edges of a wall? With the inherent MTF of digital, it can be hard to define 
the exact edge of the dimension. Very good question. Thanks a lot. Actually, it will be depends on the flexibility or accessibility to get this edge uh, fixation. So even CR or DR, it will more flexible to work with this type of edges, okay? But the best one depends on how is the criticality from this one, uh, location, uh, accessibility, uh, tolerances, uh, it would be sh even shut in shutdowns or uh, conventional solutions. So my, my answer is both CR and DR can able easily to detect this type of connections. Okay, thank you very much. Then I have two other, two more questions. Um, uh, first question is, um, in I think he is mentioning to slide 39, the IQI plate, 39. The IQI placement was of the region of interest. Well, could that be acceptable in practice? Uh, you mean, uh, no, uh, actually all of the IQI, it will be depends on the code requirement from this type of screen. And as I mentioned in the uh, first presentation that it will be easy reshot from this one. So you can able also using CR and DR, get uh, quickly another shot from this one, very easy, very quick. If you have any problem for your exposure time, you can able to modify it quickly and get another shot. Uh, if it will not, we can also able to measure and accumulate the number of IQI. If it will not convince us according to code, we can also able easily to get another shot. If it will couldn't, so we need more penetration, maybe more power. We, get, we can modify the uh, exposure time for uh, if we are using gamma ray or increasing the kilovolt if you are using X-ray and they got another image, best image to qualify according to the requirement standard for these applications. But here into this screen, if we can see, we can also able here to, uh, to, to measure at least six or seven number of IQI wires uh, according to code standards. So it will easily achieve the code standards here. Okay, thank you very much. And then another question is, what type of processing operation is used to get the flash filter images? Ah, this is only on, uh, on software. So it will only icon on the software. If you can decide to buy this one and add it to your software or you couldn't buy. So it will be active onto your software or not active, but it will be quickly only one click, one screen you got it. It will give you a very best images in few seconds. Thank you very much. Um, I think we have time for one additional question for, uh, for Ahmed. Uh, 